little tutorial is going to show you how to use a Mio X series, either a Mio XM or Mio XL, uh, in a redundant type of mode um, where you're actually going to two computers and you're sending the same information in and out of the Mio X series to both computers. Um, so, this is kind of the best practice for this, and we're doing it through RTP, of course. So, connect both computers to your Ethernet switch and then connect your Mio X series to that Ethernet switch as well. For this example, I'm just going to use dynamic IP. You can use static, but I'm going to use dynamic IP. So what I want to do is I want these connections to automatically connect to my computer. So to do that, I'll have an article linked in the description below. But basically, I'm going to create a new session. You hit the little plus button here, create a new session. And don't enable that first. Uh, you want to put the local name, find a local name that you want that you're going to have for both. So say if it was a piece of gear, um, and you, I'll pretend it was the Mio XL1 or Mio XM1. And I'm just going to call this Mio XM1. And I'm going to put A after it because um, this is going to be on the A computer. On the B, we're going to do the exact same thing. So we'll pretend that this one's on the B just because I don't, you can't see my second computer at the time. Um, and we're going to same local name, exactly the same local name. So you can see that they're both exactly the same name. But the bonjour name is going to be you know, XM1B. Now once you change this bonjour name, make sure to click out of that port. If you do not click out, it will default uh, and it'll mess up. You won't make the right connections. In Oracle for X series, we went to the RTP network page and switch RTP 1 and 2 to initiator. We're going to go into the name here and the first one is going to be Mio XM 1 A. This will be your A machine. We're going to hit save. We're going to go into the second one same thing but it's going to be B at the end hit save I'm going to go over here and enable this port you'll see it connect to the first port and it should show up over here and then we'll go to the second one enable it second port and it should show up right here there you go so it actually shows the bonjour name in here um, but on your actual DAW I'm going to go into Ableton Live and I'm going to go uh, command comma to go into preferences and run our link MIDI and you'll actually see once I get down to it um, here's my network sessions uh, so we have two network sessions now normally you would only have one because there'd be one on each computer I did both on the same computer so you see it but you would select Mio XM1 and select it your whatever you need, tracked, remote, that kind of thing. Same thing with the outport. And you would do the same, you would enable the same settings on computer B. And then if you make a strip in here, so we're doing this, um, and you copy it over to the from the A machine to the B machine, the name is exactly the same. So you won't have to go to every single channel strip in your setup and reselect the port that you want to go to all you need to do is make sure in preferences it's enabled because you have the exact same local name which is what your DAW sees as far as routing goes we just have to make a few routing so in this case I'm gonna pretend that I want these to go to DIN 7 or sorry DIN 4 and let's go to MIDI routing I named it XM even though it's on an XL so uh, it doesn't matter what the names are, as you can see. Uh, so we're going to scroll down here under RTP Network MIDI. RTP 1, which is your computer A. I'm going to send it to DIN 4, so I can get rid of that. DIN 4, and then RTP 2, I'm going to send out to DIN 4. So now they have the exact same writing. So they both go into the computer. One's on RTP 1 and one's on RTP 2. Though the name in your, your Ableton session or your DAW is exactly the same because we made the local name the same and then the out word is both going to din4 hopefully that helps you out